Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be showing you how I do my TV makeup every morning before I go to work. My primer that I use is insane. I am so obsessed with this. I put this on even if I don't wear makeup and I'm putting sunscreen on. It is so good. I have big pores and this hides them and it just keeps your makeup on a really long time. So it is the MAC Studio Fix 12 hour shine control primer. I'll link all of the products that I use down below. I put like a dime size on and kind of start on my nose because that's where my pores are the biggest and then just kind of work into my T-zone because that's where I feel like I get the shiniest. This also just helps my makeup go on so smooth. So big fan of primer. Don't really wear makeup without it. All right, so first thing that I do is to start with your eyes. So I am using a Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is just kind of like a cream color from MAC. And then I'm just gonna kind of like fill in. Sometimes this works better with your finger. It just depends, depends on my mood too and how much time I wanna take. And this stuff also helps my eyeshadow stay on. I don't know about you, but like I've spent money on eye palettes before that are like $50, $60. And I still have like every single one that I've ever bought in my lifetime. But I've never actually finished them. And I can't really justify spending that to get like a bunch of different colors. So I often get the cheaper palettes now. I'm just going to use my finger because that's working better for me right now. Um, I get the cheaper palettes from like Ulta and those, this actually helps like those cheaper shadows stay on longer too. So you don't need to spend a million dollars on an eyeshadow palette. So this is the one that I've been using lately. I've been loving this. I'm like an orange peachy pink girl. I go in with the color Salty Caramel and my eyes are kind of tiny. So to make them look bigger, you're gonna keep your eyes open and you're kind of gonna start above the crease with this main color. I do my eyes at the same time to make sure that they're even. I think these colors are just really pretty if you have blue or green eyes. And then I'll go back in and touch this up later. Obviously for TV, camera kind of like washes you out. So you have to wear a little bit more than you typically would on a normal day. Okay, and then I'm gonna go the color Cinnamon Spice, which is right here. And I'm just gonna put that in the corner. I don't really do a wing because it scares me. I think they look great, but I don't know how to do them without making a mess. So it's just not my thing. So I kind of use the shadow to darken the outer corners. Give my eyes a little bit more dimension. And then I'm gonna take the, okay. Then I'm gonna take the other side of this brush and kind of blend that with the other color so it's not so harsh. Cool, I'm liking it. I'm liking the way it's looking. Alrighty, one more thing with the eyes to kind of soften them a little bit. This color is called Not So Vanilla. And I just kind of go up top here on my brow bone, just kind of like soften those edges a little bit. Sweet, next it is time for foundation. This foundation, I don't know how to say it, came up as an ad on Instagram and I was like, let me try it. I have bad melasma on my cheeks. We're working on it, it's a whole process. You should have seen it before, it looks incredible now. I have an amazing esthetician. Shout out Haley, America Aesthetics. However, the summer and when things heat up, it flares up a little bit still on my cheeks. So this full coverage foundation is the absolute best foundation ever. I found it, I gave it a try. They do a whole color match. It's called, my color is called After Party and it is truly a full coverage foundation, but it doesn't make your face look cakey. It's obviously a liquid. I just love it. I feel like it like it transforms to the actual color of my skin. I only use like a teeny tiny bit because it is very thick. So just like a little bit. This lasts me like three or four months. And then I'm going to also add a little bit more of the primer. Then I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and mix that together. I just use my hand here. I start 
down here on the bottom of my jawline and just kind of blend up because again this is where I want most of the coverage because of the sun damage always obviously bring this down I'm not very tan yet so I don't want to have like a dark face and then a white neck I mean that just goes on so pretty and it just covers everything so well this stuff is amazing I love it so much And you can see there's still a lot of product left on the brush um, because I, it's pretty much gone off my hand, but still covering everything here. Love, 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 love this. It is just so good. I'm breaking out lately, and typically that is one problem that I don't often have with my skin, but you know, the weather's changing and uh, Sometimes when it does get hotter and more humid, which was really humid last week, my skin will break out. So anyway, this just does a really great job covering everything without looking like super cakey. I am going to go in with the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Foundation Powder by MAC. I've been using this for a long time. Actually, I was introduced to this by the ladies that used to do my makeup at Golf Channel. Don't need a lot. Just kind of pulls everything together. Okay, time for the eyebrows. I got my eyebrows professionally microbladed and I love them. I also like my eyebrows to be dark. So I just add like a little bit. Stephanie is my girl here. She's actually at a studio out of Waxaw and I will link her information below. She did an incredible job. If you're looking to get your eyebrows microbladed in Charlotte, I highly recommend Stephanie, she's amazing. I am actually, I'm not trying to gatekeep here. Here's my palette. Obviously, this is the only color really that I use. Sometimes I'll go in with this. This is just like a cream. It says concealer, but I, do, I use it on my brows and I think it works great. And I just kind of go in and follow the line. I love a thick, dark eyebrow. I just love it. When I was in middle school, I actually plucked the hell out of my eyebrows and it was not good. The tails never actually even grew back. There we are. The brows. They're browing. Now we're gonna do the contour. So this contour is actually a drugstore situation. I have this in the highlighter. Today I'm going to be trying this for the first time. I had a different liquid contour before, but I was not really a fan. So this is the Halo Glow by e.l.f. It's like eight bucks at the drugstore. Love the highlighter that they have. I'll use that in a bit. But I wanted to try this new contour because I really was not loving the one that I had before. So let's give it a go together. I'm just gonna kind of dot and I don't want to bring it down too far because I don't want to look like I have dirty cheeks. Okay, let's just try that and see what happens. So I'm gonna take my, my brush and I'm gonna go upwards because that's where I want the product to be. Ooh, I'm liking that. I think that this might be my new contour. Love, love this. Moving on, I like to do my jawline because who doesn't want to snatch jawline? So with this product, I should have probably done this on my cheeks one at a time, but I have found that with the highlighter too, you want to kind of like work as you put it on your face. So that's why I didn't do my other side as soon as I did this one because you know it dries very quickly. I also contour right up here just to kind of balance my whole face out. I used to hate my widow's peak and as I've gotten older I've actually really become a fan of it. Just one of those things that grows on you. We're going to highlight under my eye and for that I just use a concealer. It is the MAC Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer. I obviously do a very light shade because I'm highlighting so this is NC15. It's like very fair. That is just because I like to be really bright under my eyes especially because Usually when I'm doing this look, it's very early in the morning and sometimes I have dark circles. I use my beauty blender and I always wet it. I know some people don't like to do that. I know some people like to use some dry, but I um, definitely wet mine 
think it just blends a lot better. I go up and then I bring it down. And you can see already just like how much that brightens under my eye. Love this stuff. I've used this for such a long time. I want to blend this all together and I'm gonna do that with my blush. This is actually a new blush that I'm loving. It is a compact and it's this really pretty pink color, pink peach, but it's not liquid, but it's like, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's not like a dry powder. It's like a, I don't know. I guess maybe it is liquid, whatever. Anyway, it's Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks in the color Calypso Coral. And this is by Bobbi Brown. I just kind of pat my brush in there and then I smile and then I go to my cheeks and just make them pop. I love blush. And I don't know if that's just because for TV, it just kind of really makes your makeup pop, but I am a big time blush girly, even if I'm just going out for the weekend. I love it. I think it's so cute. And I think it's like the perfect finishing touch for your makeup. Really pretty color. You can wear this really all year round, but it is more of a spring summer color because of the peachiness of it, which I love. I also think it makes my eyes pop. Okay. Favorite thing to do, which is the highlight. Did not used to be a big fan of this, but I'm into it now. Again, this is the e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow color, and it does have like a shimmer to it. So with this, for TV, it can be tricky because you don't want to put it on your cheeks because it will make your face look big and really in real life too. I stay kind of right above my cheekbone and then I go in and just kind of pat that. Pat that and like pull it up. Oh, I think that's just so pretty. I love it. And again, this is like super cheap. It's from the drugstore. It's like eight bucks. And then I also come on my nose with it. That is just such a pretty look. And then to make your lips pop, you can kind of go here. And then we'll put liner on like usual, but it kind of like just highlights this up top and can kind of lift your lips a little bit. For my eyelashes, I use the MAC False Lashes Maximizer first. This is a primer and you put it on before your mascara. This just makes them look longer and it also keeps your mascara from running or flaking because when you're wearing it for a really long time, the last thing that you want to do is look like you have a black eye. Okay, so I let that dry. Right now I'm gonna line my lips and put on lipstick. This is another drugstore find. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Crayon Retractable Lip Liner in the color Nude Pink. This is Morphe in the color Virgin and it is a liquid lipstick. This is my go-to. I wear it to work, I wear it out, I wear it all the time. This is my favorite liquid lipstick. Time to set and spray. This is the Fix Plus All Day Hydrating Spray plus Vitamin C by MAC. And I am obsessed with this because it gives me a dewy finish. All about the dew. This is dry. So now I'm gonna come in with my favorite mascara. It is the OG of mascaras. It is just like the Clinique basic high impact mascara and it is in the color black. I love this stuff. It never flakes, it never falls and it makes my eyelashes look really long. I have always done my bottom lashes. I know a lot of people don't. I feel undone when they're not done. I'm not a pro at this. I usually get black on my eyelid and then I have to go back and fix my eyeshadow, but we'll do that after. Also, waiting until it all dries is the quickest and easiest way so you don't smear it to um, get it off. Almost forgot one really important step. I put a dry highlighter on top of my liquid highlighter. And I use Bobbi Brown. This is the highlighting powder in the color Quartz Glow. I love this. It looks good year round. And I just kind of go right over where I did the highlight. Cool. All right, so I'm going to do my hair and then we'll come back and put the finishing touches on the face. 
Okay guys, everything is dry. I'm gonna show you how I just use a Q-tip to get rid of all of the mistakes that I made with the mascara. Super easy to get rid of it like that. And again, you don't get like a smeared situation. Okay, then I am going to do the finishing touch which is my favorite, favorite lip gloss right now. This color is called Foxy and it is just an Ulta lip gloss. Then I'm gonna go one more time with my setting spray but I'm gonna cover my eyes so that my mascara doesn't like bleed onto my face. Okay, and that is the TV makeup look. I will of course link all of the products that I use that are available down below. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope that you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know what else you want to see. I'll see you soon.